Hi guys, Steve Good here with the Scroll Saw Workshop. Please visit my blog at www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com where you can find other scroll saw patterns and videos uh, relating to the scroll saw. I want to apologize for my voice tonight. I'm trying to get over a cold, so uh, if I sound a little unusual in this video, you'll know why. I want to talk about a subject tonight and continue the series on creating scroll saw patterns uh, in Corel Draw. Now, the last few videos we've been talking about uh, scroll saw basic or Corel Draw basics, and I want to kind of get away from that a little bit tonight and take you into another um, facet of Corel Draw, where even if you do not consider yourself artistic at all, you'll see that it's very easy to create scroll saw patterns using clip art. And what I'm going to do tonight is actually scan in some clip art from a clip art book uh, that contains royalty free clip art that you can purchase online and then what we'll do is we'll transform that uh, clip art the bitmap of that clip art into a vector graphic that can be resized uh, so with that let's get started and then at the end of this I'll show you where you can get these clip art books okay what I'm gonna do and, and what you'll need uh, to accomplish this of course is your computer with Corel draw and load uh, control Corel draw loaded and you're gonna need a scanner either a flatbed scanner or one of the all-in-one printers that includes a scanner. Once you've installed your printer or your scanner, it will install a driver uh, that allows you to scan images from different programs. And CorelDRAW has the ability to import images from your scanner right into itself. And what you'll do, and I've already uh, laid the copy that I want to scan uh, on the scanner flatbed, and what I'm going to do is go to File, acquire image and acquire and what that will do is it will bring up the dialog box that allows you to scan in documents into CorelDRAW now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down here and select the black and white picture text and the reason I'm doing that is this uh, particular uh, clip art that I'm scanning happens to be silhouettes and those are by far the easiest patterns to scan because um, you'll see why as we get going so I'm going to click the black and white picture and text then I'm going to go down here to the adjust the quality of the scan picture and I'm going to bump that up a little bit to about 300 seems to do a little better job so I'm going to move the resolution up to 300 now what I'm going to do is uh, click on the preview button and the scanner will scan the image that's on the glass and show us a preview of that image here on the screen and once it finishes we can take this bounding box and lasso the particular piece of clip art that we want to scan tonight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click with my mouse on the bottom and I'm going to bring it up and I'm going to do this uh, horse and wagon clip art right here and I'm going to take the left side over the top down and what I'm trying to do is eliminate as much of the other clip art as I possibly can so we don't have as much editing to do. Once I get that done go ahead and click the scan button and your scanner will now scan in that piece of clip art at 300 dots per inch as a bitmap. Now as you can see it's scanned it into the page and we've got little pieces of the other bits of clip art that are surrounding it so we need to get rid of that and also if I take my magnifying glass now and I scan in or zoom in on the edge of this you can see that it really starts getting jagged and the more I zoom in the more jagged it gets so because of that if we tried to resize this image those jaggies would get worse and worse as we resize it. So what we want to do is convert this into a piece of vector art. But the first thing we need to do is clean up is actually clean up the um, uh, pattern a little bit. So with your pick tool, right click with your mouse on the bitmap, and the top uh, uh, selection here is Edit Bitmap. Go ahead and click on that, and that will bring up Corel Paint and will give us a chance to edit that bitmap and get rid of uh, let me get this zoomed into the right size here and we can get rid of this extraneous bitmap or clip art that we don't need so you can see right now we've got all this up here at the top and we need to get rid of it so I'm going to take my eraser tool and I'm going to move the size of my brush up just a little bit here and I'm just going to go through and erase all this extra stuff that we don't need. And we want to get rid of every bit of it, even these little small spots. Get rid of it as get rid of as much as you possibly can. Oops, I didn't want to get rid of that, but that's okay. You'll still get the idea as we go here. And you'll have to move your scroll bars around here depending on 
how big your screen is and I've got my resolution turned down real small for the video here so I'm going to go through and erase as much of this as I possibly can around the top and the bottom and that looks like I've got it pretty good there and now when I close down paint it'll ask me do I want to save cha save changes to the bitmap in graphic one and hit yes and what that will do is it will take that graphic that we just changed and replace it with the edited version now what I can do is click the right mouse button on the bitmap again do trace bitmap line art let the Corel trace program come up and you'll see that we have the bitmap in the top and it's down here beginning to work on the trace and when the, once this progress bar finishes then we'll be able to click OK and we will have a traced version of that bitmap on top of the older uh, bitmap graphic. Now we can go ahead and delete the older bitmap and you can already see as we zoom in here the difference that we have in the edges. See how smooth this is now to the same thing that we had? So now what we can do is with the pick tool, and this is a pretty important step here that uh, most people overlook, with the bitmaps or the new vector graphic selected, go up to Arrange, Ungroup All. And the reason we're doing that is because the background got saved as part of the vector graphic and we want to get rid of it. So now if we click up here in the upper left hand corner, we can drag this background out of the way and actually delete it because we don't need that. And you'll also notice if you move this out of the way, if we lasso this blank area of the screen that a lot of this appears, go ahead and do that and delete that also to get rid of all this extra stuff. And now what we have is a bitmap that we can resize and use as our uh, our our patterns for our scroll saw. So I just colored it in gray and outlined it in black. And now you can see that we can resize it without losing any detail to anything we want. And then say we wanted to use this particular piece of clip art as a small clock, uh, we could uh, do that quite easily by going to my scrapbook here. And I'm going to pull out the blank mini clock here. Oh, I don't want that one. Let's do this right here. I'm going to close this back up, and again, my voice is really starting to go away on me here, so uh, forgive me. And let's see. I want to do outside like that. And I'm, I'm not going to go into great detail on what I'm doing right here. I just want to show you that uh, we can uh, begin to make our scroll saw patterns out of this clip art. So basically all I'm going to do is build a small mini clock here that I can now combine together. And there's a mini clock just in a matter of minutes. You can uh, put your uh, 1 and 17 inch uh, mini clock insert right there, build a base, and you would already have a scroll saw pattern just that easy. Now, real quick, I want to go over to my website. I'm going to bring it up. And if you look at the top of my website, you'll see the Scroll Saw Workshop blog online store. And I know this is a, beginner, a little bit of an advertisement, but I just want to give you an idea of where you can go find these books of clip art. If you click on that link right there, it'll bring up my store. And the very bottom link is uh, titled Clip Art. Clip on, click on that Clip Art, and it will bring up all of the Dover books uh, on Amazon uh, that have silhouette um, clip art collections. And these collections and these Dover books are absolutely fantastic. The one I just recently bought was this big book of silhouettes, and uh, it's great. It has all kinds of really neat patterns in it that you can you can uh, actually go in and trace like I just showed you and you can browse through these and find the ones that uh, that you like the best and uh, there's several different ones and again the silhouette patterns uh, are the best they're the easiest to scan whereas just the regular clip art is much tougher so um, there you have it how to scan clip art in and use it uh, for scroll saws on for patterns on your scroll saw and uh, trying to keep this video under 10 minutes, which was pretty tough. That's why I'm talking so fast. So um, if you have any questions about this, uh, please let me know, and I'll try to answer them. Thanks. Have a good night.